Hi. So I just want to do a quick demo for you on how I made the flowers to go on this um, sunglass uh, chain that I made. Um, the components come from kit number YSXC84. Okay, so that's got the pearls in it, it's got the chain, sterling silver chain, uh, and it's got the sunglass holders in. The only thing I've added is some 0.4 millimeter wire. Um, obviously, you should use um, sterling silver wire if you have it. So the tricky part of this uh, flower is that the holes in the pearls are quite small. So the, the 0.4 millimeter wire will go through it quite easily, but it will only go through it once. So it's a little bit tricky to make a flower. Well, it's not tricky. It's just a, you have to work out how to make the flower without going through any of the pearls more than once. Um, I wouldn't use any thinner wire for a sort of a rosary link because a 0.25 wire would be, would be too soft, especially if you're using sterling silver. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to show you how I did those flowers. So I've got my wire here, okay. I'm going to start by threading on four of my pearls. One, two, three, four of them, okay. I'm going to bring them down to the other end of my wire. If you're using sterling silver wire, you can work from the reel and then uh, you won't have uh, any waste or very little waste, should I say. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve these around like so, so that the fourth one sits basically next to the second one like so. So these four pearls are going to be those four pearls there. Okay. And then I'm just going to twist the two wires together, hold those tightly together so they're nice and snug. Just give it two twists, okay, like so. Okay, make sure your, your shorter wire is pointing upwards. Okay, then you're going to take your other three pearls and you're going to thread them onto your longer wire. So that's my one. So you need seven pearls in total to make a flower. Okay, bring those down. Okay, and I'm going to bring these pearls around. So my wire joins the other pearls there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread my wire underneath See where those two pearls are, because these are my outer pearls, that's my central pearl there. So I'm threading my wire underneath the wire that joins into the center. Okay, like so. So when I pull it tight, it comes together to make a little flower. Okay, and I'm going to do that again. Just twist it around the same piece of wire again. Okay, make sure you don't get a kink in your wire, because then your wire is likely to break like so okay so now I've got my wire coming out of both ends okay and now it's really easy after this because you can do whatever you like with the two ends of your wire so to make the the sunglass holder all I did was I turned it into a rosary link essentially so I took my round nose pliers okay bent my wire around my round nose pliers like so okay then thread on a piece of your little chain. Just put your wire through the very last link of your bit of chain. Okay. And then hold them to your loop and twist your wire around your base wire. Okay. And there's your rosary link. You can cut this wire off at this point. So, just neaten it up a little bit so there's nothing to scratch you. Okay, and there's your rosary link onto your little chain. Now, for, obviously for the sunglass chain, I did the same thing on the other side as well, and then went onto my next flower. And at one end, I made a slightly bigger loop for my rosary link, so that it could go through the loop on the sunglass holder. But with this you can do anything. You can hang this onto a pair of shepherd's hooks and you've got some nice dangly earrings. You can do anything you like with those.